start her up. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's loud as f Dude, it sounds good. Yeah? yeah? I don't know about when it revs. Hell! Wow! <laughs> that, that was the cold start. What the f That's loud as f What am I doing today? I don't know. I have no idea. Are you surprised? I'm not. I probably should find something to do. I don't need to. Someone's got to watch this one day and be like, why does he always have to be doing something? Because I can't not. I don't know. I can't sit around and do nothing for a weekend. It's a long weekend this weekend. Another one but actually a long weekend this time. And it's currently 2 o'clock on a Saturday because I've done nothing all day because I don't know what I'm doing. Isn't this better when I start videos when I haven't just opened my eyes on, a, on another note? Um, I'll move the car and I'll, I'll recap about my week. How about that? Fucking my keys aren't in the car. I'm not going to move the car anywhere. I thought they were in the car and I was convinced they'd be in the car, but they're not. So, that sucks. Um, I got to be part of a music video this week, which is pretty sick. Um, again, everyone on YouTube has pretty much seen my TikToks anyway, but TikTok shit. So, um, basically, someone hit me up the other week and he was like, love, if you could help me out with a music video, like, we want to use your car. Zzz. And then I was like, yeah, I got a daily as well. It's going to be slammed. So hence why the daily was getting slammed. I mean, not entirely. I wanted to do it anyway, but I guess it was a positive outcome of it because it looked sick in the video. Um, video's not out yet. Should be out soon. Um, I've seen a sneak peek of it uh, and it looks sick. It looks so fucking cool, man. And I got to play a little role in it as well, which is totally random for me. I don't know. That's something I've never done before. I've never tried to like do any sort of acting. Um, it was a bit, bit weird at first, but pretty much straight away had heaps of fun. Um... Yeah, that's that's probably the coolest thing. I got a new tire because directly, uh, immediately after the vlog. No, now that happened in the last one, the tire died. So I got a new tire on Monday. Still haven't had a wheel aligned. I can hear how bad the toe is in the front, so that's not ideal. Um, I need to get a wheel alignment. I need to get sort that out. It's making a funny noise in the front as well. Um, Caleb is on his way out. He just said and. I want to try and get my front bar on the black car because I have the Mode Perfume front bar, but I don't have any fiberglass or resin and shit here, so it's not super easy to fiberglass without having any fiberglass, but I can absolutely like cut it and stuff um, to the right shape and get it to fit a little bit better because I need to cut it in half to shorten it, obviously. Um, I'll do that. I'll get the bar down. And I'll start mucking around with that because the Majesta's still at work because I took both cars on the Tuesday when the video was getting shot. Don't ask me how. Um, I just walked home and drove the other one back. But, yeah. That's exciting. Um, I might go to sleep. Might go grab my keys in a sec because I just forgot about them again. I'm going to go grab my keys. I'll be back in a sec. Ah, I've got my keys. Um, I thought I left them somewhere for a sec because, hello, you can actually lose your keys for these cars and still drive them. Makes sense. Um, so they, they could fall out of the car while it's running somewhere and then you shit out of luck, I guess. But anyway, I got my keys and I got something else kind of cool. I'll, um, I'm going to try to set these up because they're just like running lights. Um, I bought a few different styles to play around with because I want to redo the running lights, the Majesta. And I think these are a pretty cool thing as they are. I would like to speak with a supplier and improve on the design, 100%. Because, fuck, if you put them in the right spot, these look pretty legit. I don't have the Majesty here at the moment, um, so obviously I can't do that. But I can hook one up to a little battery so you can see what it does. So I will sit my little camera 
somewhere, if it'll sit anywhere, without, whoa, without wigging out, because it's got a gimbal on it, and it's going to freak out, so, <laughs> here, um, I can very easily see this starting to track my face and launching itself to death. Okay, so, I'll hold it in my mouth, because it's going to be the easiest way to show this, because it's just wires. Uh -huh. This one? Wait for it. I love this shit, man. <laughs> How cool is that? Wait, it gets better, it gets better. So there's... There's switchbacks as well, um, but it has a startup animation, which is obviously sick. And... And... Yeah! <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's it doing? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I love that. I got a few different sizes to see what works. These are pretty sick. Um, like I said, I would fucking definitely improve on these and um chuck these on the site. Not super expensive, because they're not super expensive. Because um, you could fucking make these work pretty cool. Like, by themselves, they They don't look too bad. They honestly actually don't look fucking too bad at all. For what they are. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'd love to make it... Like a frosted lens or something. Or like, less LEDs, but brighter LEDs. Either way, these are... um, These are pretty damn bright in real life. So, I fucking love them. And I wouldn't... I just want to put them on everything now. As soon as I get like lights that can do stuff, I'm just like, yeah, fucking chuck them on whatever, because lights are sick, so, anyway, um, oh yeah, if you can hear that, that's, um, that's the exhaust, oh, that's something else I could do, I, um, probably need to do an exhaust on this now, because the exhaust is hard up against the body, because I scraped it too much, so, that's awesome, um, Ohio, apparently is not awesome, so, I don't know, that's news to me, wipers are on, on a dirty window. ETC card is not installed. Go for a drive. No seatbelts needed here because we're on a property. But, oof, dodge all this mud. Best I can. But yeah, basically, I've had a um, it's a pretty good week so far. So that's that's pretty good. Um, bit of a different week to my normal sort of week, but not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Oh, I've got my reversing fucking siren alarm thing because it's necessary apparently. So if I can back into something. Wow. You haven't even seen this bar actually, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, oh, the Majestic's not here. I could get this on the hoist and actually do the exhaust. Yeah. Yeah, because this needs an exhaust pretty bad. That's a fucking good idea, Max. Good idea. There we go. I'm going to sort my shit out, and hopefully this is going to be in the hoist next time you see it, because I'm really good at saying I'm going to do something in a video and then not doing it. I, I usually end up doing what I'm saying, just not in any particular order or convenient time frame. So <laughs> I'm a man of my word, just not when it's expected, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get this in the hoist and fucking... Fuck around, pull the bumper down, see what's going to be more work. Fucking modifying the bumper, or um, that'd be pretty easy. I don't know, man. I just talk. I just, I'd really just be talking shit. Not really, no shit, but I'd just be talking. So I got the black car on the hoist, and <laughs> fuck, what was I even gonna say? Oh yeah, um, I found some two and a half. Wait, I'm turn the camera around. Um, we're going to install some. Whole ultra high flow cats here. Some incredibly high flow cats because there's two sets of cats. So the rest of the exhaust is pretty good, except this mid muffler is going because that's pretty straightforward. Um, this is where it's flattened off and you can he see where it's fucking hitting the the boot floor now. So this hanger is also like exceptionally shit. So I'll get a new hanger on that. I'll throw, get rid of the fucking mid muffler. Um, that'll give me a bit more clearance. Not that it matters too much because these flanges are just shit anyway. So it's still going to scrape. This flat section fucking sucks. So 
it's model Easter, which is kind of cool. I'll be destroying it, but um, that and then I probably I'll probably after I do that put the original mufflers back on so it is like a bit more rigid and the exhaust isn't flapping around and stuff because that's probably half the reason it's fucking as shit as it is with scraping. But other than that, it's all pretty good. So um, yeah, got some fucking tube and a couple bends. Not that I even think I need to use the bends. What the fuck? Fucking camera at a moment there. Um, so literally two bends and I'll find my original mufflers and chuck them on after I put the super high flow cats on. is cut to length and I've just tacked it on and now I'm gonna fucking continually weld that and then I'll do the other one. I'll just do one at a time. I've never need to hold it up that way. So I deleted the cats with ultra high flow cats, deleted the uh, mid muffler um, and fucking go to the right mode, cunt. There. Need to fully weld it up, put the original mufflers back on um, and now it sounds like shit and it's really quiet so the obvious solution is, oh shit, I'm out of breath, going to get straight pipes, or straight pipe, so I can fully straight pipe it, because it sounds way better, fully straight pipe. So we are on the way to G-Rod Customs to get some straight pipe, to straight pipe it, because that's the good, the good idea. Have acquired the exhaust pipe and something for dad too while we're here. So where are you, oh, down there. Very exciting, very exciting. A straight section of fucking tube. It's pretty much. I have arrived back home and immediately going to cut the mufflers off and then straight pipe the fuck out of this bitch. Yeah, but I need to do, get a bit creative with the tips because the tips, if I can show you, it's getting a bit dark now. They have these this bend in them, so I'll have to use one from each side on one so they sort of point together. Um, cause those are like the exact opposite and then I can fucking, you can't even see. Um, and then I'll be able to, um, make basically a Y out of those and then fucking call it a day, basically be done. And then obviously should, um, work out where, if I can turn this around, <laughs> work out where it's, um, leaking from. Cause it's leaking from everywhere. I need to probably drop the exhaust to weld the top of it sort of thing, but yeah, it's not a high priority, but should do it cause it'll sound a lot better. Okay, so got the tips cut off. Camera's having a moment. Whoa. What? Camera is... Okay, there we go. Um, so, this is the passenger side. And basically, from the driver's side, get one of them. And then cut. And that's going to be a Y. And then perfect, perfect cut and weld for fucking two inch. And then I've got matching exhaust tips. Easy as that. F fucking turn around. Fuck the Model Easter fucking tips. Fuck them off. Um, so don't ask me if any of these are straight at all, but um, fucking right one, that one. Look at that. Bit gappy on this side because I was too keen, cut too much off it straight away, but like slightly staggered. Fuck, it's, fuck, it's as good as it's going to get, isn't it? And then that's cut in half too. So now I'll fucking tick, tag, tack, fucking tag, fucking tack these together and um, tack the fucking straight pipe on, get him in the right spot, make a hanger and fucking pretty much done. Okay. All right, so here's, the, here's Max's... Fucking fa fabrication by Max. That'll do. About that. Sounds about right. And that's good. Do about straight. No, oh, I can't. It fucking blew itself to pieces straight away. I need to clean the fuck out of it. Yeah, I need to clean that bad. Tack. Fucking tack. Make sure they're still fucking wonky as fuck. Yeah.
That's about right. Oh, fuck off. I look like an excellent welder right now. <laughs> This will be right. Ah, fucking now, helmet on. Helmet's on. <laughs> oh, this fucking underclean is so bad. Wow. Fucking look, that's how you weld 101. Done. Welding done. <laughs> Tips, fucking modified, custom. I can probably bend the pipe a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. <sighs> fucking, it's easier said than done, actually. Fuck off. See, fucking done. Fucking exhaust tippos. Don't see. <laughs> Excellent welding right there. Fucking <laughs> number two. Just make sure they're the fucking sound. I could have done that in the fucking light. Would have been Quick modification. I'm going to try to do This one's probably how you actually meant to do it, to be honest. Well, so it's fucking done. Does <laughs> he? Fair enough. Close the gap up. Fuck. Clean. Should be nice if I can actually weld. Lol. <laughs> Take that back. Oh, 
Alright, sick. cool. So now I'll fucking leave the back of these up so they're even and that's pretty good. That's not fucking too noticeable. It's good enough. <laughs> Sick. There you go. <laughs> perfect. Right, now I actually weld this up with a bit more fucking heat. So it is nice. There you go. There's my slightly less shit fucking migging. <laughs> still not correct migging and someone will have a fucking whinge about it, but that'll do. And now... So now they're both welded on and they're going to be leaking to the fucking shit house. Um, the obvious solution is fucking starting it up. So I'll fucking, instead of dropping the hoist, I will climb the hoist. Oh, oh I can see fall off. Oh, fucking take that. Fuck! Light's fucking broken. Fuck! Okay, this is pretty wild. <laughs> Fucking go to the right mode, cunt. Fuck this thing. So get in it. Fucking start her up. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's loud as fuck. It sounds good. Yeah? yeah? I don't know about when it revs. Fucking hell. Wow! <laughs> oh, okay. 
Fuck, that was a cold start. What the fuck? That's loud as fuck. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Does that sound good back here? Yeah. It sounds like a fucking F1 car, cunt. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that's not just me, is it? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> More, more, more. Like bang it off a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I have fucking never been so exi excited over the way a fucking exhaust sounds before. <laughs> Jesus! Dude, that's off tap. <laughs> well, fucking Camry motors go fucking hard. Fuck, better fucking fill up all the holes and shit. This will probably bang and pop like a fucking cunt too. Wow. <laughs> and fucking, you already know, I didn't even fucking unhook the battery. Fuck that shit. Why would I fucking buy it? What a fuck. Toyota's are the best. There fucking there. Oh my eyes. Oh it fucking bl blasted the fucking hanger away. Dude. Ow. Put another fucking sick one on the other side. <laughs> Look at it, just accept it. <laughs> just watch it happen. Right. Hanging number two. <laughs> Fuck, Jesse's gonna love me. Everyone's gonna love me. I'm gonna be the, <laughs> fucking, I'm gonna be the most popular cunt in town. Did I put that on the right way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> To win friends and influence people. <laughs> I can see one of your exhaust leaks. Yeah. Right there. Oh, what? Sure. Right, right no there. Exhaust leaks here, buddy. <laughs> Fix it right now. Solid. Harley Solid Davidson, mate. Harley fucking Davidson. I've evolved past even sweeping. <laughs> Ask me how I feel when I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Sick. Fixed. Done. Oh, no more leaks. All good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I can feel the top of that open roll. <laughs> That's glowing. Very nice. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go. So, Basically, kind of on the ground now. Pretty much. Pretty much. Go for a drive. <laughs> fix up the holes and you go for a fucking bang. <laughs> oh, I made these hangers exceptionally hard to get off by doing them the opposite way, so you have to go one one way, then fucking one the other way. <laughs> the gas filling cunt, Sally's no more gas. And <laughs> bit, then bit, bit, bit of no more gas, T-Rex style. T-Rex glue the fuck out of it.
front though. See the hole on the other side. Suck my dick. <laughs> Fuck Tom Levine, we all hate him. Check out the stance on Max here. Well, Tom Levine could green. Tom Levine could never. Add me on fucking Discord, I hate Tom Levine. <laughs> that will do. That will be back to do. Fucking just painted the entire exhaust. Don't worry about the dirt and shit. This actually looks like it was done properly. What a concept. So you're not going to see the tips too well because the car's black and everything, but you better see painted pretty much everything. You can see where it scrapes. I'll be able to see where it scrapes more and shit. All the way to the front just because, but I mean, to me, that doesn't look that terrible. Looks like a fucking exhaust system. A real, a real exhaust. Fuck yeah. Why are my control arms on such a whack hand? So exciting. I wonder how loud noisy it is in the car, It's so fucking noisy. update you're probably not gonna be able to fucking see me of course um if i go under the light i don't know oh wait yes there we go maybe barely it's fucking offensively loud and it doesn't sound quite as good in the car so hopefully it'll sound good outside the car so we'll go somewhere and fucking get k to fly past because i want to hear what it sounds like outside the car before i start manging this everywhere i think it sounds right when you're revving the fucking cunt out of it but it's like pretty offensively loud so <laughs> but it's v6 so i fucking don't know what i expected Oh, fucking okay. Alrighty then. It sounds, yeah, I don't know. It feels like it goes better, of course. I'm not surprised. There you go. That's fucking what it sounds like in the car. Now we'll fucking go somewhere and fucking film it outside the car. I see shit, but I'm just getting Caleb to do a quick flyby before this dies because wow, it's loud. Hopefully, it doesn't die before he flies past. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I actually don't think it sounds that bad. It's just like obscenely fucking loud, cunt. Fuck me dead. That's funny as fuck. Currently on the 
way too tough day out because um, Jesse held a gun against my head and said I had to come. No, just kidding, I actually wanted to come as well. So I'm taking the Majesta there, just gave it a wash for that sort of thing, and then we'll be displaying some stuff from the shop, and I'll probably film a couple bits during the day. Probably not, but there you go, that's me actually out in public doing something. So just finished at the tough day out, mate, and um, drove past cops flat out. They just don't seem to care about my car. Currently driving with uh, Caleb, get a roller with that in the Bivik. Of course I didn't film anything while I was there, um, but yeah, fuck, I was like going to pull the camera out as I was driving past the cop too, and I was like, uh, I felt my vape instead, and I was like, I'll probably grab that, but like, they just, they just don't seem to care. Fucking touch wood, but don't know. Look at me go, I got my camera on me in fucking public, and check this shit out. Hopefully there's not a fucking mad fucking smash in the side of it, cunt. Look at that, the car's still in one piece, cunt. How fucking odd. I ended up spending fucking ages at the gym because fucking, I don't know, I guess it was sick. My car's not unlocking. Oh, okay, I got into the car, fucking so weird talking in public. I'm gonna get used to it because I was in the music video, so now I'm obliged because I've done acting, so I have to be a real human being, but I ran into I'm um, fucking a dude I haven't seen in literally like six, seven years at the gym and it was fucking sick. And I ended up spending like two hours there talking to him. <laughs> And it was fucking, oh, it's so funny, dude. Um, talking to like, like this is a FaceTime or a voice message or something. But anyway, fucking the Majestic is backed in against a wall. So let's see how fucking noisy this is when I start it. I feel like it's going to be pretty offensive. Oh. Not even that noisy. Anyway, oh, I need to sneak in. Fucking, I hate taking this thing anywhere that's not just where I can watch it. So... I'm gonna fucking drive home, get the the really useful Daisy, daily, Daisy, and then come back into town, and then plot around, because it's a long weekend, so I have tomorrow off too, and fucking, I feel great, I feel fucking excep exceptional, oh, this is gonna be a long fucking video, I can already tell man, anyway, oh, bro, literally quick fucking pit stop at home, and um, I'm going back at the black car, I fucking love, oh, where am I, oi, here, mate, what's it doing? Fucking hello. Oi, I fucking love daylight savings. Like daylight savings. Oh, dude, it's the best. Like it's feel it's late as fuck. Well, it's not even like I don't feel. I'm gonna say something else tomorrow and be like, man, daylight saving sucks because I'll be tired as fuck in the morning. But fuck, I don't give a fuck at the moment, and then I will in the morning because it'll fucking suck, so, I will, but fuck yeah, man, fucking daylight savings is the best, <sighs> oof, I didn't wake up as late as I expected to wake up today, but still woke up pretty late, it's like one o'clock now, um, the black car's sick with the exhaust, obviously, um, yesterday was a bit of a write-off sort of thing, but the just is covered in mud, because this is what happens when you live on a farm, <laughs> it was like all flicked up the side, but I wiped that off before I let it sit on there and cake on, but um, this is something else I've been working on. Um, still haven't told anybody what it is yet, sort of thing, but you'll be the first to know. It is <clears throat> something I'm making for the C-pillar. I have to make one, make sure it's viable first. Um, I need to finish share, shaving the fiberglass a little bit to get it to fit a little bit nicer. And then I can um, bodywork it and stuff, and then I can pull a mold and obviously prime and paint it and pull a mold from it. But pretty happy with how it's turning out so far um, and what it is is lights so or I don't know how to explain it ambient lighting I guess and it's something pretty different to anything I've seen before Garson do do one for vans but it's for the B pillars and they are pretty limited in the cars I actually offer it for and I don't really like the way those ones look either so I thought I'd just make it myself um, so I'll I uh, sand this little bit sort of thing and then put a bit of bog on it and um, yeah get it a bit close I should be able to get this pretty close today and then chuck some lights in it sit in the car see how it looks and hope my idea works since I haven't done any bogging in ages um, I've lost my applicators or just used them all and thrown them out to be honest but um, I just got a bit of a glaze of dolphin a bit of a skim of dolphin glaze on this rather um, to level it out a little bit sort of thing so I'll let this go off, then I'll start blocking that back and guide coated and shit, but it's already looking pretty good. 
considering I just like threw wet mat on this. So see how it turns out. Ah, I've um, got not much done today. I actually did kind of get the um, trim piece kind of done, but I um, ended up going to get some food with Caleb. And then um, just went to the gym while I was in town, which makes more sense, because I'm being consistent and I've been pretty much all weekend, with minus Saturday, because I was like flat out on Saturday. But um, it's good. And I'm now having the realization that my daily, I don't know, this video is not gonna do it any justice, but it like could potentially be a bit too loud because it's like fucking offensive. Like you get in it, drive it, and you put any throttle on and it's just like, wow. Um, I'm about to pull out onto like the main road so you'll fucking hear it in all its glory even though you've heard it plenty of times in this and it's probably the highlight of this um, video is me, my reaction to the fucking exhaust and it's like yeah it doesn't sound bad like outside the car it sounds pretty fucking cool but fucking cyclist dog um anyway it's like it's just it's just really 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 fucking loud um good loud but like still a v6 and it's my daily so like better than my phone opens. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, as soon as I left home before, I got a text from dad before I even got like 100 meters away saying like, it's fucking loud, mate. Like it's fucking loud. So yes, I'll see how this goes after like a week. I need to do the rego on this soon anyway. So maybe when I do the rego, I'll fucking um, put some hot dogs on it. It'll still be pretty loud. It'll just have like a slightly less raspy sort of noise. And it's, it's not a bad rasp. I don't even know. Anyway, heading home now and I'm gonna, because it's daylight savings, I don't feel like a total ass, like piece of shit about myself. My clock still says it's 4.30, so I'm gonna act like it's 4.30, um, for like a week at least. But um, yeah, it's 5.30 and it's like the sun's not going down anytime soon. So <laughs> I'll be able to get a bit done tonight. It's good, man, I love it. Like I can actually get home from places, or I can get home from work and still wanna work on shit, so. Anyway. So here's where I got to. Um, uh, it's kind of hard to hold it properly but it's looking pretty good, honestly. The edges are not too bad. It fits really nice on the C-pillar. I need to bodywork this back edge a bit because that's where I was holding it when I was painting it and shit. But um, yeah, sort of it's done its job. I really want to, I'll just do this quickly. Um, body that, like sand that last bit back, chuck a little bit more on to fill it sort of thing. And then I want to paint it black just to see how it sort of looks in the car and actually sit some lights behind it um, cause that's like the whole point of it, obviously is, oh yeah, I'll explain it. So literally like a light strip will sit in that gap between the original pillar and this extension thing that I've made. Um, and obviously it sits up this way and it'll cast like a real nice ambient lighting across the roof. Um, a lot of work, like a lot of work for something real simple. Like there's heaps of other ways I could have gone about this, but I want it to look really fucking clean in this car. Um, and the benefit of this is I thought these were the same as the Majesta pillars, but funnily enough, the Majesta's C pillar covers are actually um, way smaller. So, uh, which one? I think it's this one. Either way, they're actually physically smaller um, and a slightly different shape to these. So, I'll sit it down and I'll show you. This wouldn't work on this, unfortunately. So, it means I'm going to have to make... You know, another one for the Majesta, but you can see, yeah, the Athlete's a way smaller car, and these are, like, not even fucking close, but these, once I get, once I'm happy with them, these will be available to purchase, um, as just, like, a gel-coated piece, maybe painted, but ideally just, like, gel-coated, and then what you do is you just get some trim sort of thing, be it carpet or vinyl, or probably an option to buy them wrapped in vinyl straight away, um, yeah, kind of cool kind of cool just gonna make sure i'm happy with it first sort of thing so yeah didn't think it'd take as long as it does to make just the one but obviously got to make another one and another one and another one and then because i want to do a b and c pillars c b pillars are going to be the easiest and that's where i got the idea from um that's the only ones you can buy for sedans at the moment and pretty limited amount of sedans at that but um yeah definitely if i'll, I'll do the one first see how it looks because if it does look good then I'll know it's worth doing for the rest of them sort of thing. So I might even just 
do a quick bit on this, chuck the lights in it and sit the pillar back in the car temporarily with some tape sort of thing before I mount it properly. Um, just to get a, get a feel for how it's going to look, see if it's worth me continuing the C pillar ones or if I should just focus on the B pillar ones. But yeah, actually a pretty productive weekend, even though I've been a bit lazy today. <laughs> I just gave the whole thing a bit of a block with 320 and then I laid what is ideally going to be the last coat of Dolphin Glaze because this shit's way nicer to work with than normal bog. Um, yeah, so I'll let this go off. Little, just a couple little bits I needed to touch up sort of thing. This stuff self-levels a fair bit, so I didn't even need to work it as much as I did, but I still, still do. This curve was just way too deep down here and that was the only spot with like heaps of highs and lows. So I'll let this go off. Do the like sort of final sand. I think I need to trim a little bit off this back edge to the right here because it overhangs a bit too much, but pretty close now. Should be able to get this thing primed tonight and um, yeah, probably blocked back and primed and then I can take it into work sort of thing and muck around with it. I don't think I'll be able to um, paint it properly tonight sort of thing because it's getting a little bit late. Um, and I need to edit this video and I need a shower and I don't want to be going to bed at midnight but on the bright side it is only just getting dark and it's fucking it's like seven o'clock now or something not even like it's probably like 7 30 <laughs> so that's pretty sick um but yeah gonna be quite a bit of editing i'd say on this one because caleb was recording some clips and um he just sort of recorded everything so i'll just trim it down but it's gonna be good because at least there's more to watch rather than just me talking because that's what they seem to be most of the time so here i am blocking this thing back basically getting it like paint ready so it's going to be like a paintable part mold and then i realized that it's going to be trimmed like no matter what way you look at it i don't think it would ever be painted and I'll tell you right now i'm not going to be painting any for anybody so if anyone wants to actually get these if i do follow through and sell these the final prep before paint the high fill and shit that that can be on you because fuck that i'm not fucking the, the effort you have to go to to paint shit it's like too expensive like trust me it's too expensive i don't work at a paint shop but um laid some primer on it got the shape pretty happy pretty good but I'm, I'm happy with it at least there we go hold up obviously the primer looks a bit splotchy just the nature of it but pretty good i didn't go didn't go wild sort of thing you see it's 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 not laser straight but like it's straight enough and it's got a consistent curve sort of thing so pretty happy with it looks legit gonna look way more legit once i um make it just a part instead of like a plug sort of thing. So it's already eight o'clock. Um, I do really want to chuck some lights in this though and see how it looks, but the car's other end of the world. I'll see if I can find some LED strips real quick. And if I can, I'll have a go. If not, I won't stress about it too much tonight. I've got all the time in the world. So I'll get back to you. <sighs> all right, um, this is where I'm at. Spin around. Whoa, what the fuck? Bro, what are you doing? Whoa! Whoa, okay. Fuck, I need to see if this thing has a mode to default to FPV because this sucks. Um, still need a little bit more, like up there, a little bit more sanding and shit, but pretty good. So I'll just take it with me to work tomorrow. Um, and yeah, go from there. Fucking suss it out. Probably make the other side to match sort of thing because at least I'll make one. It should look pretty good. And worst case scenario, you can see the LEDs. I can just add like a diffuser on top of them so they don't look too cheap. Um, but yeah, that's me for tonight and this weekend. And now I got to go adjust to daylight savings for work tomorrow. How good. That's the only downside of daylight savings. The first few days slash week kind of suck. But thank you again for watching. Um, don't know what I'm going to be doing next week. The weather looks like it's getting better finally. Um, so I might be able to do the ute, which I really want to do. Um, I guess we'll wait and see. But good weekend. Product productive weekend. I had a good time. So... Hope you enjoyed watching this. Bye.